Hi, everybody. Okay, so it's time to start focusing really hardcore on the main empennage fairing. So a couple of videos back, or maybe it was the last video, you saw me having it outside, had the Dremel tool to it to uh, get rid of all the flashing around the edges. Now it's time to do a little bit of a test fit and do some blind drilling. If there are gaps between the stabilizers and the fairing, they, those must be addressed, filled with flocks, flux epoxy. Thankfully, none of those had that here. You can see I've got the little magnetic ball on the side, and we are doing a drill. So there's four holes in the top of the horizontal stabilizer and four holes in the side of the vertical stabilizer on each side. You'll be going back and forth and back and forth, drilling holes and cleat going it in. Now, we started off by using magnetic balls, and the magnetic balls work well because, again, that fairing has been gel coated. So, you know, trying to see a, a pin prick of light by using a bright light on the inside doesn't, doesn't really work with that. And I'm finding out that trying to use these damn magnetic balls uh, inside the holes, it's not that easy. But that's okay, we found another way to do it, well, I'll show you that in a second here. Uh, yeah, because uh, using the magnetic balls, while it works, isn't necessarily guaranteed, again, to be straight. Because the balls, you know, don't have like a perfect north-south pole orientation where the, the two balls might necessarily sit perfectly on top of one another. They might be slightly offset, and you don't want that. So, instead, what we're doing is we're using lines. Here's a close-up of that. So what we're doing is we're drawing several lines pointing to the hole, which go past the edge of the fairing, resume tape, and when you put the fairing back on, the lines stick out, all you have to do is trace those lines back in, and you will triangulate the position of the hole you need to drill. Yet, just another technique you can use to blind drill some holes. <coughs> So yeah, way back when we were doing the empennage, and so you're also going to drill some holes on the front of the empennage on top of the tail cone, uh, in case anyone was wondering why you never wound up putting the nut plates in, and you can see those, uh, the holes for where the nut plates go. I wonder why we never put those nut plates in. Well, that's why. There you can see me marking the lines to do some more blind drilling. And once you're done and everything is drilled, great. Then you're going to go, then we're going to go back. Well, I should say after all these holes are drilled and we're happy with them, then we're going to go back. We're going to put the nut plates in all these holes in both the vertical and horizontal stabilizer. And then we will be able to countersink the fairing and attach it with some number six screws. And that's basically the, the whole gist of it. I like this point of view. This is pretty cool. All right, let's see. We got any updates or rants? Actually, I do have a small rant to my good friend who duped me into quote unquote house sitting so that I could also uh, help dog sit his nephew's dog. Um, oh, when you get back from vacation, I'm going to chew your ass out. I totally got sold the bill of goods. Oh, yeah, come, yeah, because they have a beautiful house up in Oakland Hills. Come stay at the house. It's going to be perfect. And you get to watch this dog, who is a treat and an angel. Is the dog well behaved? Yeah. Lies. Those were all lies. Problem is, it's a very high energy dog breed that likes to have jobs, and it doesn't have a job, and so it's making my life a living hell. It's affecting, it's affecting my life here. It's affecting my marriage. Dogs going to get drop kicked off the balcony. All right, so here you can see we're doing the blind drilling of the holes in the front. Now, these are much bigger, so the uh, uh, screws in the back are number sixes. These will wind up being, I believe, number eights? No, 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 they're also number sixes, sorry. It's just that you directly drill to number 30 on these. Um, after you're done drilling out the holes in the back, you'll go back through and re-drill, I think, number 27s 
for number six screws. Anyway, we'll pick that up in the next video. Uh, thank you for joining me, everyone. See you soon.